Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at a simple guide to cupping at home. So guys, if you've been following my Snapchat, you'd know that I've been doing a lot of cupping ahead of the roastery launch and a few of you have been asking how to do a cupping at home, so I thought that's what this video will be on. Now you do need to set up your cupping quite well so that when you're tasting and evaluating your coffee, you know that you're getting the right flavours because you're using the right ratio of uh, coffee to water, for example. It is pretty easy to set up a cupping at home though. All you need is the coffee you're going to cup, a grinder so that you can keep it nice and fresh, um, hot water, so a kettle basically, um, your cupping bowl or um, even a coffee cup for that. Um, and a set of scales so that you can weigh things pretty accurately. So first of all, put your cupping vessel on the scale, tear it off and weigh out uh, 8.25 grams of the coffee that you wish to cup. And so now you need to grind this coffee quite coarsely. So if you think plunger grind or perhaps even a little bit coarser than that, that will suit you. Um, when you are grinding your coffee, just make sure you use a little bit of the coffee that you want to cup first, just to purge the grinder. And then from there, um, you grind out your 8.25 grams. Now this weight of coffee suits 150 grams of water. Um, so if you do have um, a slightly different vessel size or if you need to expand on that, uh, the ratio is 8.25 grams per 150 grams of water. Once you've ground your coffee, take a smell of the dry aroma and then return it to the scale, tear it and add your 150 mils of water. Set the timer once you've done this and you want to let it steep for about four minutes. Once you've done that, take your cupping spoon and just uh, push back the crust and take a smell of the aroma. This is when you're going to get your best sense of the wet aroma. And then once you've done that, take two cupping spoons and uh, pull that crust away and just discard it in a uh, spare bowl. At this point, the coffee is probably still a little bit too hot to taste and cup. So I usually give it about 30 seconds to a minute. And then from here, take a slurp of the coffee. Now you almost want to make as much noise as you can when you're slurping this coffee guys. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get your spoon and take a big slurp um, and what you're doing when you slurp the coffee is you're aerating it across uh, all of your mouth so you get a good sense of what the coffee tastes like. You want to repeat this process um, tasting as often as you can over the next sort of three to five minutes. You will notice that the coffee starts to cool down, but that's fine because you do uh, start to notice more intricate flavors as the coffee cools. All the while, as you're taking these slurps of coffee, make sure that you're writing down anything that you taste or anything the coffee reminds you of. It is really important that you do write it down because it really helps you to kind of um, get that level of um, vocabulary out and that'll help you to uh, be able to describe the coffee when it comes time to telling your uh, customers or your friends or family. So there you go guys, that's how you do a cupping. It is pretty simple to do one at home. When I get the roastery up and running, I will be selling a cupping pack. So it'll give you uh, sort of three or four samples of different single origins and you can taste them all against each other. And it is a really good way to um, develop your palate tasting different coffees side by side. I would also recommend that you um, get out there and taste a lot of different things, whether that's going out to really good restaurants or drinking good wine, uh, tasting craft beers, uh, tasting great coffee, obviously, tea. The more things you taste, um, the better it is and the easier it is for you to then describe the taste that you're getting in that cup. Thanks very much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something about coffee. That's what we're all about here. If you did enjoy it, just click like because it does really, really help spread the word. Um, of course, if you haven't got enough of Coffee Fusion, check out another video. There's uh, four years worth of content on the YouTube channel. You can also add me on Instagram. It's at The Coffee Fusion. Um, the Instagram is private now, but that's just so we can keep the Coffee Fusion community together. Um, and then that way we can comment back and forth about it. Um, so certainly request a follow and I would definitely accept you. If you want to get some behind the scenes of our uh, Coffee Fusion, add Snapchat, it's at Coffee Fusion and there I post our uh, coffee crawls or behind the scenes of what I'm doing. Um, so it is a bit of a chance to get a more candid view of what's going on in the Coffee Fusion world. Lastly, hit subscribe if this is your first video and you liked what you saw because there's content like this coming every Wednesday. Thanks very much guys and I'll see you next week.
These things will all help you describe the coffee and it is really important to um, write it down because that's how you kind of develop a, um, a better kind of vocabulary. <laughs> I can't even say the word vocabulary, vocabulary. That's going to the outtakes. <laughs>